fishing here in East Tennessee, uh, right behind my sister's house in this little small creek. Got my little light fishing pole, six pound line, small weight, a little bit of night crawler on there, and um, we'll see what we can catch out of here. Well, I didn't get the catfish, but I got a nice uh, creek chub, pretty good size. So we're gonna, I'm gonna save him for bait, maybe use later. Oh, there's another one. Nice little small one. Oh, there's a good one. Big green sunfish tied over here. There's a bunch of them in a little hole over here. Little fat green sunfish. The water is really low. Hadn't rained in a while, but uh, these little pockets are great. All the fish have to stay in the same area. So you throw some bait in there and they're going for it pretty quick. Little small creek chub. Small green sunfish. This is a right in the backyard of these houses over here. Most people would never think there's fish you can catch with a hook in here. But if you uh, sneak up on them and don't scare them, usually you can uh, catch quite a few and you never know what size could be in there. That's a good size one. It's a pretty big green sunfish there. Probably the biggest that's in this hole. But um, not bad looking. All right, I'm over here in between the highway where the creek goes under the road. There's a little opening right here. Just a little deep spot. Here we go. The small green sunfish. Another creek chub. Well, he didn't waste no time. As soon as I dropped it in there, he was on it. This little spot. There's not even any water flowing through it still. Just, just barely chugging through there. We're gonna go on the other side of the bridge over there and there's a deep hole. And hopefully there's something good there. All right, I'm just on the other side of this bridge. I, uh, it's probably the deepest hole in the whole creek. I just spooked a a couple large enough bass when I walked up, so hopefully they're not too skittish. And we'll start out with the worm still. See what's out there. All right, I'm gonna switch to using this little creek chub that I caught earlier. I'm just gonna hook it back through the tail. Have it on there like that and just cast it out. Came back and got it. Oh! Came off again. Alright, we're gonna get him to take off me. There he is, guy, that time. Not a bad one. Cut it off the creek chub. Pretty good for in a little creek. Hold on. Nice 
Nice little largemouth. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, he's bigger. There we go. Oh, that's a good one there. It came up with a green sunfish. Ow! That's not a bad one to catch. He, uh, after it fell in the water the second time, he came up and hit it fast. Going back up. Right behind me is a little spot of water. Can't be a foot deep, probably less. I saw a couple bass swimming around there. Uh, don't know how big they are. They don't look too big, but I'm gonna have to switch up my bait, try to see if I can catch them. Well, I got a couple little fish left. I'm gonna use this creek chub. I don't know if these fish are big enough to bite it, but I think they know that I'm here and need something more realistic looking. Maybe they'll just take it. And get it. chub in his mouth and got him hooked he I missed him the first time and he came back for it then I got him I don't know how he even survived in this little hole over here not a bad it ain't huge but pretty good to catch out of a creek that nobody thinks there's fish in I'm gonna put him on the other side with those other ones I'm gonna try the same bait again walk down a little ways to get to him. Look at this bass. Now ah, that's a, <laughs> that's pretty big. I don't even know how it's in there. He's just hanging around there, came swimming by, came up and got my creek chub that I had. Tried to take off with it. Probably two pound, I don't even know. But not too bad. And good bass bait. Coming from under a tree branch or something. Nope. Yeah, nice little one. Well, I don't see any more in there, but there's some other uh, bluegill and stuff. But three good bass out of the one small little fishing spot in the creek. It's pretty fun, especially when nobody else can even get there. It's so thick. I'm gonna try to go around the other side and see if I can try to catch any more. Bluegill. Small one. It's really tough casting in here, I like this small pole. 
and takes practice. Anybody can go in here and catch fish as long as you sneak up on them, cast it where they're at, they're ready to bite. Oh, uh, yellow belly sunfish. Pretty colors.